This is some work that we've been doing over the last few years. Response assessment in AL amyloidosis is critically important to determine the effectiveness of therapy. One of the challenges in amyloidosis is that we measure serum-free light chains using an assay which measures polyclonal light chains, not the monoclonal light chain. And therefore, we don't know within the light chain that's actually measured how much is the abnormal light chain and how much is the normal light chain. And using mass spectrometry, we are able to determine the monoclonal component with a great degree of accuracy down to very, very low levels. So in this uh, abstract, we looked at uh, nearly 300 patients with newly diagnosed amyloidosis who were followed up for over a year where we assessed their response using standard methods, using the standard criteria with normal light chains, and then did additional uh, mass spectrometry to determine whether the light chain component was present or absent. And what we were able to show very effectively was that, first of all, we can detect a light chain in every single patient that we thought had AL amyloidosis by the mass spec, so it works. Secondly, only about a third of the patient actually eliminate their light chain by mass spectrometry, so we don't really get true, true complete responses as we thought we did. Patients who achieve uh, a mass spec negativity have significantly better outcomes than patients who have a complete response even by traditional methods. But more crucially, 70% of the mass spec negative patients had organ responses, particularly cardiac responses at one year, which to me is pretty unprecedented compared to anything else we've seen so far. So I do believe that using mass spectrometry with either the Malditoff best method or one of the other methods should be incorporated into standard response assessment for amyloidosis. Our challenge is what do you do with patients who are positive? It's nice to have the negative patients. We need studies to decide what to do with the positive patients.